Last class, we talked about what it meant for Bitcoin to be decentralized. But today, I want to focus on why this is such a good thing. Let's ask a question. Do you like money? Now, do you want full control over your money and what you do with it? Or do you want other people to control how much you can spend, where you can spend it, and even how much value it has? If you answered yes to the first question and no to the last one, then decentralization ensures this. Let's break why decentralization is important down into two main points. We will start off with security. Remember, Bitcoin is a network for storing and transmitting value, not an actual coin. The network is decentralized when more people who don't know each other and live in different locations are working to mine Bitcoin, also known as securing the network, and or running Bitcoin nodes. This ensures no single government, jurisdiction, person or group can find these people and make them do what they want. Since Bitcoin is very spread out in terms of its security, even if it gets banned in one jurisdiction, there will be another it can operate in. Every single miner and node operator would need shut down and no more could pop up. Since there are thousands of these spread across the world, it becomes inconceivable to do so. Freedom is the ability to do what you would like and then of course bear the responsibility of your decision. The decentralized nature of Bitcoin means nobody controls it or makes arbitrary decisions that affect millions or billions of people. Again, it's run by thousands of people all around the world and conceivably everybody could participate. No one person or group, even as powerful as the US government or China, can hinder Bitcoin transactions. It gives true freedom, as no matter who you are in the world, you know exactly how the Bitcoin code is going to run, you can transact with anyone without getting censored or restricted, and you can control your own assets without trusting a third party. If one person or group makes all the decisions, like modern central banks, the vast majority is impacted by the decisions of the few. Centralizing power can also breed corruption, as it attracts people who want to control simply for that benefit. However, Bitcoin doesn't allow for centralized control. The rules are set and everyone agrees to play by them voluntarily. There's no outside party making up the rules as they go. It's entirely driven by the people using the network in the fairest possible way. Bitcoin is a system of rules without rulers. You don't have to play by the rules of Bitcoin. However, then you're doing something else. Those of us who choose to play the Bitcoin game accept the rules. We don't need overlords in a conference room 2,000 miles away controlling every aspect of our money and lives. We will end with a quote. When you give control to others, you give up in freedom and soul what you gain in convenience.